a blessed day and welcome. The verse for meditation this morning comes to us from the book of Romans, chapter 10 and verse 9. If you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. There are many types of confessions. In fact, one can confess for the sake of the situation and to please others with no conviction of the heart. But this morning, as it is declared in the word of God, the confession accepted by the Lord is one that engages our whole being. According to 1 Corinthians 12, 3, not everyone can declare that Jesus is Lord in truth and sincerity unless they do so through the power of the Holy Spirit. A person who earnestly commits himself to the Lord receives the Holy Spirit at that very moment. Every Christian is a spiritual person, even those who aren't gifted with obvious or visible talents. The story is told of a 12-year-old boy who was saved at a revival. Later, his friends questioned him about it. One said, Did you see a vision? Another said, Did you hear God speak? The boy answered all of these questions with a simple no. Well, how did you know you were saved? They asked. The boy replied, It's like when you catch a fish. You can't see the fish or hear the fish. You just feel him tugging on your line. I experienced God tugging on my heart. Initially, we meet the Lord at the point of our need, a struggle or an impossible situation. And we approach Him to resolve the situation. But this is only the first step to our walk with the Lord. We must transition from approaching God, from having our needs met, to getting to know Him on a personal level. The Holy Spirit, whom we received at the initial encounter, is eagerly waiting to teach and help us mature. Dear beloved ones, true maturity, in fact, is the process of transitioning from the scene to the unseen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, help us walk and mature in the Spirit so that we may know you on a personal level. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.